to that young girl who has a dream of being a technologist one day, being a STEM woman, being an engineer, being a civil engineer, being a mechanical engineer, being a lecturer in computing, I want to tell you that there's no dream that is very big for you to achieve. If you can dream it, then you can make it. My name is Mary Asunta Gasheri. I am a lecturer at Mary University of Science and Technology in the School of Computing and Informatics, Department of Information Technology. I am also the director for Open Distance and Electronic Learning at Mary University. I was not always um, a STEM person or a science person. It was uh, after an inspiration by one of my family members, my brother. So when I finished my high school and it was time for me to join the college, he helped me, he guided me through selection of the courses that I'm going to take and one of it, of it was computer science. And uh, he guided me through the application process and enrollment to the university. And um, because it was a, a bit a challenging field for me, he worked with me, helped me to do that extra work so that I can be able to catch up with people who have always been in science. And um, I actually owe it to him because I took the decision and I didn't turn back. I loved it in this uh, science field. And um, once I was comfortable, I really got moving. Establishing a career takes a bit of aspects. First of all, you must have the correct attitude towards the field that you're in. So the minute I found myself in technology field, I had to really change the attitude, have a, a positive attitude towards everything that I was about to do. Number two, I believed in myself. I believed that I can do it. And I was able to move forward from there. And then I worked hard working hard. When you have a goal that you're working towards, you have to work hard towards that goal. Working hard has been able to um, help me achieve the academic qualifications that I ha now have, the undergraduate in computer science, masters in technology, and now the PhD that I'm doing in IT, still technology, I still have to work hard to be able to achieve that. And even at my workplace, where I serve as the director of Open Distance and Electronic Learning, I still have to work hard to make sure that I deliver success. Yes, there is a um, very great importance of inclusivity, I will say inclusivity, of more women in STEM from the top, from the leadership. Why? Because this young girl needs a mentor. They need to see those women succeeding in STEM, in sciences, so that they can grow up knowing that I want to be like someone. I remember when I was a young girl and I used to see a lady driving a car. And I would think this lady is magnificent. I want to drive a car one day. So because there's someone I'm looking up to, someone who is similar to me, someone who is of my gender, there's a way that we inspire one another. So if there's a lot of inclusivity from the top, it encourages the women to be able to choose the STEM courses more. That parent who sees a young girl interested in a STEM field, first of all, do not kill that dream. Encourage the dream, nurture the dream. I believe that is what CBC is doing today so that you can be able to see what your child is interested in. So support this child yeah, through education, encouraging them to do well in these sciences. Of course, in other subjects, because they are very important for someone to pass, to be able to have um, education in higher uh, institutions of education. So support them through their education. And then 
when it comes to universities like our own, Meru University of Science and Technology, we are a university of science and technology. This is a university where we have computing and informatics. We have a pure and applied sciences. We have engineering. And these are courses that are very good, offered here, very good. And they, should, they are attractive also to the women. I am a lecturer in one of the fields, computing and informatics. And I believe this university nurtures that so that you can be able to bring out the girl, the, the technologist yeah, as a girl, so that you can be able to inspire more young girls who are coming up. Um, education is important into achieving inclusivity because education offers a level playing ground whereby we are all at the same level. We can be able to bargain from the same point of view. So when we have women that are, are educated in STEM, you give them that bargaining power that they can be able to, uh, to compete even with the men counterparts in this field. Yes. To that young girl who has a dream of being a technologist one day, being a STEM woman, being an engineer, being a civil engineer, being a mechanical engineer, being a lecturer in computing, I want to tell you that there's no dream that is very big for you to achieve. If you can dream it, then you can make it. We were there, we dreamt one day. Of course, maybe we had bigger dreams, but at least we got somewhere. Do not give up. If you give up, then you keep on wishing. I wish I did something to make me achieve something that I wanted to be. So please, work hard, stay focused, it is doable. Yes, stereotype is real, and I can say it is true, it is happening, especially to ladies. And uh, I would say not in STEM only, but it's very rampant because when it comes now to, st to STEM, we are few of us. So we relate because we are just few. And I have faced it in my workplaces. You get to be appointed in a position and people think that, ah, it's because it's a lady. Uh, it's because of the skirt. No. We get these things because we are qualified for them, because we work hard, and because they have seen that potential that many people do not see in women. Uh, the government has a very big role to play in supporting STEM. And uh, one of the ways that I feel that the government should uh, help the STEM is that uh, they should have more women leaders. Appoint more women leaders, especially in those technical areas. Like I would be happy to see a minister for, or a CS, cabinet secretary of roads as a woman. I'd like to see those hard technical areas being led by women. Do you know what that would do to us? to inspire so many women. I would also like the government to do more sensitization. We, when you see uh, those adverts, maybe for education, you see the, the lady is put in a, in a uniform for the nurse. It's okay, it's good. We have very lovely nurses. And then you have the men having those hats for engineers. Sometimes it's good to have the roles change. Let's have those uh, women dressed as technical people and this sensitization done more. And also the policies that they make, let them include more of the girls in these policies that they make. More campaigns should be done in schools, especially at the levels where they choose these courses in high school, uh, in primary school. Let them have more campaigns that are going to attract more women to STEM. I think you need to wear your shoes and become very strong and work hard and show up. So on behalf of Mary University of Science and Technology, a university that we love so much, I would like to wish all of you, all the girls, all the women, happy International Day of Women and Girls in Science. Thank you.